In some relief for air travelers, Civil Aviation Minister Jyotiraditya Sindhya has announced that Delhi's second Cat 3 runway will be functional this week. The dense fog that has engulfed northern India for the past few days has impacted several flights at the Delhi airport, with many cancellations, diversions or significant delays. This not only left thousands of passengers stranded and frustrated at the Delhi airport, but had a cascading effect on much of the airline network in the country. CAT-3 systems enables flight to take off and land in low visibility conditions, and thus a second such runway is expected to ease the fog-related disruptions. Sindhya's statement was part of his rebuttal to Congress MP Shashi Tharoor, who, in a post on X, alleged that ongoing fog-induced chaos at the Delhi airport and passenger inconvenience was a Modi government-made disaster, a result of the Ministry of Civil Aviation's neglect and incompetence. In this video, we take a look at what is CAT-3 system and how it may aid in reducing flight delays and cancellations at the Delhi airport. The Indira Gandhi International Airport is among the busiest and the biggest airports in India. It has a total of four runways. However, only three are currently operational. Of the three operational runways, only one is CAT-3 enabled. The fourth runway at Delhi airport is also CAT-3 enabled. However, it has been closed for repairs since September last year. Category 3 or CAT-3 is a category of instrument landing system, ILS, which is a means of navigation used in aviation for precision approach and landing operations during low visibility conditions. The key components of ILS are localizer, which is used for lateral or sideways guidance and glide path, which provides vertical guidance to the pilot during the approach. The system also includes specialized approach light systems that helps pilot identify runway environment in low visibility and markers that help pilots in establishing their position. To land using ILS, a pilot must first align the aircraft with the runway with the help of the localizer and then using signals from Glidescope, begin the gradual descent. ILS has three performance category. In CAT 1, landings can be executed with a decision height, which is lowest height or altitude while approaching descent of not lower than 60 meters and runway visual range not less than 550 meters. In CAT 2, Runway decision height cannot be lower than 30 meters and the visual range cannot be less than 350 meters. CAT 3 is subdivided into three categories. CAT 3A, where the runway visual range is not less than 200 meters. CAT 3B, where runway visual range is not less than 50 meters. And CAT 3C, which has no runway visual range limitations. In his post, Mr. Tharoor also pointed out that while CAT 3B cannot support zero visibility operations, CAT-3C can. In his reply, Sindhya said there are three factors for CAT-3 landings, runway capability, aircraft capability, and pilot accreditation. He added that while two CAT-3 runways at Delhi airport are equipped for aircraft to land with minimum visibility of up to 50 meters, the majority of aircraft fleet in India, comprising Airbus A320, and Boeing 737 have visibility minima greater than the runway threshold and are not designed for zero visibility operations. The Civil Aviation Minister claimed that the number of CAT-2 and CAT-3 trained pilot has gone up from 2,416 in 2014, the year Prime Minister Narendra Modi took office for the first time, to 6,191 at present. According to a blog by Flight Radar 24, CAT-3C approaches are typically not flown in practice. The blog notes that while some major airports and some aircrafts are certified to land in what effectively is zero visibility, there are presently no systems available that allow aircraft to taxi to gate in such conditions. The blog says, as such, CAT-3C approaches are typically not flown in practice. The lowest operational conditions are CAT-3B. It also noted that CAT-3C systems can be three to four times more expensive to operate than CAT-3B. That is all for today. Thank you for joining us.